Hey guys, so today I want to compare the brand new Samsung Galaxy S Duos 2 uh, with the first generation Galaxy S Duos I got uh, unveiled last year and it's out now on the market and the original Galaxy S Duos is like a, like a low-end phone and uh, I never actually got uh, picked it up but I picked up the new Galaxy Trend uh, this year and it's basically the Galaxy S Duos but something has like rebranded it uh, like a Galaxy Trend uh, it's uh, it's not a good phone overall in, per in terms of performance. I saw it in a store and I tried it pretty quick and I thought it was dual core, but it wasn't, so kind of sucked. But now we do have the new Galaxy S Duos 2, which is an interesting upgrade here. So I, I want to compare them a little bit. So in, in this little video, in terms of specs, so let's take a look at the pictures here. This is how the S Duos looks like. Uh, looks pretty cool actually when you see it in the store and everything and if you try it out pretty quick uh, here we do have the new uh, SDUS 2 which seems to be having exactly the same kind of design SDUS, DUS during the name that you'll be able to have like dual SIM cards then I do believe there's one variant where you can't have that like the Galaxy Trend variant you know, can't have like dual SIM cards in that one I think so um, let's, uh, let's, go, let's move on here uh, kind of same weight here 118 grams, 120 grams and uh, the display technology is still the same 40 something 800 TFT uh, display there 4 inch uh, which could, could, could be good to know uh, the best thing with these phones are of course uh, car the memory card uh, or the memory internal memory you only have 4 gigabyte variants that means 1.8 gigabyte uh, available you'll be able to maximum like install like one high end game because most of the games is getting up now to very very big sizes so a little bit disappointing there uh, uh, because that, that can definitely because there's so many cool games and apps uh, of course you do have the micro SD card option it only seems to be supporting 32 gigabyte on the original SD is now 64 gigabyte maybe this is something wrong in the, that 64 gigabyte SD card wasn't available back then but uh, let's go on. Uh, final piece of camera is probably the same. I did notice though that the new one seems to have 720p support at 30 frames per second versus only VGA support uh, on the original S Duo. So nice there with a the nice video upgrade there. Uh, and secondary still though VGA on both. Here is one of the big things, and that is that you do get an 4.2 Jelly Bean now instead of an 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich. When I bought the uh, the Galaxy Trend, I was surprised it wasn't running Jelly Bean. And because this really is a big difference, the jelly bean is so much better from my experience and smooth and than ice cream sandwich. So, kind of sucks. Uh, it it kind of sucks that it only was running uh, under 4.0. Uh, but now, 4.2 jelly bean with the new S2 is 2. And here's a big, big thing dual core on 2 gigahertz instead of 1 gigahertz Cortex A5. This is gonna make a big difference. I'm not sure if it's Cortex A9, could be Cortex A5 dual core maybe, but it's probably gonna make a big difference because. That 1 GHz single core processor in Android is really, really requiring a lot, uh, so it's it's pretty bad. Uh, but now uh, it's going to be way better probably with the dual core on 2 GHz. I'm not sure about the GPU, but it's probably going to be something like Adreno 200 again. Maybe Adreno 225, Adreno 300, that would be sick, but I don't think that we're going to see that on this device because it's probably going to have really, really low price. Uh, around the same price range, of course, as the original SDUs, which means it kind of is a low-end phone. And uh, when we go down to that area, it's almost like more worth to pick up a Lumia device, uh, like a Lumia 520 or new, now the new Lumia 525 is going to come out soon. Uh, battery here, 1500 milliamps on both as well. So, I mean, the key things here that they've changed is a better CPU and a better operating system. So, those are big things as well. Those are very, very big things. I'm not sure about the GPU, though. It could be even better GPU for gaming, maybe even uh, something like Adreno 225 or something. That would be pretty awesome. Uh, internal though sucks. It would be good if it had at least like eight gigabytes, um, but um, still pretty fun to compare. I might pick up this device. Uh, have to see here. It's gonna come out probably later this year here now in December or in the beginning of um, 2014 there. So we just have to wait and see. And um, yeah, peace out.